Desmond looks a little sad, doesn't he? Oh, I'm a sad panda, you know, I'm stuck on an island. of Templars, and their motive is clear. They desire the secrets locked away in Altair's library. Secrets they believe will lead them to something Wonder, so the Grand Templar. Altair was a scholar? Whether or not this is true. Yeah, I remember because in um, Mario's mansion he had stuff about it. I've seen it. its door for myself, but none can enter. Not without five Okay, yeah, yeah, we're picking up where we left off. No Alright, good job, me. Almost 300 years ago. Claudia, I must find these keys. The Templars have already located one. Oh no. They do not know how difficult That's it will be. That's not good. Well, obviously we're going to have to steal that one back. Only time, skill, and a bit of luck will tell. I like how Ezio still writes to Claudia. I mean, I remember her characters. I like the characters in Assassin's Creed. I think they did a good job of um, representing them. Oh. Sequence 2, Crossroads of the World. I think that's Constantinople. Interesting, I think that's the one of the few cities that's actually located on two continents. And I was thinking this last night, I'm like, well, obviously they didn't know that at the time. They just built it between a like, body of water. So I bet it's going to be like Venice and stuff, where there's like a lot of water. It already looks pretty beautiful. I think this is like the main city you go in. I, I remember reading that. Wow, look at that camera angle. There's, look, there's a guy up in the crow's nest. Some cannons, those are some nice cannons. Guy carrying a chest. Oh look at that captain. A magnificent sight. Is that Machiavelli? No. It is a work in progress. It's not. No city in Europa has a skyline quite like this. Well to be precise, that is Europa. That ah, I told is you. Asia. Ah. Some borders even the Ottomans cannot move. Very few. You are Italian by the sound of it, but your outfit is not. Have you been traveling long? Si, I'm Otto Tempo. I left Rome a 12 months ago, looking for inspiration. And that search brought me here. You're in that, way, you're in that guy's way, come on. When I was a child, my father told me stories about the fall of Constantinople. Constantinople, <laughs> okay. You must mean the conquest of Constantinople. I suppose the moral of any story matches the temper of the man telling it. That we can agree on. Guzel! Constantini is a city for all kinds of Crees, okay. Students like me or uh, travelers such as yourself. I'm sure you'll make it. <laughs> we should set up a traveler's creed, you know? <laughs> With the tours of Constantinople, or, or maybe we should be a bit more Constantine, was it? I mean, that's what it's named after. I have so much work to return to, but it is good to be home. Work. Work, yeah. When I was your age, my interests were. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> I was about to say. Salve. Oh, man. Incredible. I am surprised you got anything done. As was my mother. It was a pleasure speaking with you, Bay of Henry. Oh, did you see how you threw that package? I have faith that he seems like a nice guy. Should we get friends with him? You know, he can be our. Yardem at the Belirium, Bay of Henry. Grazie, dear boy. A scholar and a gentleman. I was about to say, good job, prices. mister. <laughs> Very few, my friend. Exceed all mine. That Turkish, I guess? Hey, bud. Hoshkaldin Kardashian. Unless the legend is a lie, 
You are the man I long to meet. Renowned master and mentor. It's your auditori, the la la la. <laughs> Uh, forgive me. I have a hard time remembering that Italian gibberish. Da Firenze. The city where I was born. Ah, yes. Uh, so, by your custom, I would be Yusuf Tazim Da Istanbul. Hey, yeah, that's a I pretty like good. That. Istanbul. Yet another name for this city. Evet. It's okay, that's Turkish. Thing. I know that. Uh, come. Age of Empire has taught me for Evet. I will show you around. The Golden Horn. Okay, hang on. Let me... The Golden Horn or... Oh, what the hell? I don't know how to read that. Meaning waterway is an estuary. Estuary. Should who you find? Estuary. Okay. Flowing into the Bosphorus Strait that bisects Constantinople... Con Constantine Nopoli Deepity Dupida into its northern and southern halves. Because of its breadth and death, the Golden Horn has served as a natural harbor since the days of the ancient Byzantium. And a certain date after the cessation, the split, the cessation, like cease, like stop, of, that's what it means, right? A violence between Ottomans and Venetians. Sultan Bayezid II. I guess that's his name? Sorry, man, I butchered your name. But I didn't butcher your people. <laughs> the famous Florentine Le Leonardo invited. He didn't invent him. Jesus. We're going to have some trouble. <laughs> invented the famous Florentine Leonardo da Vinci to submit a design for a bridge that would span a 250 meter... Uh, well, I guess this is not Sean typing this. Other way, it would be like meter with the RE. Wide section of the Golden Horn. Upon seeing Leonardo's design, however, the Sultan felt the project was too ambitious. Ambitious. There's something in the bushes. Ambitious and scrapped the idea. Four years later, Bayezid extended the same invitation to a young artist named Michelangelo. But Michelangelo, being a vowed rival of Da Vinci's, refused the Sultan's invitation outright. Evidently, incensed that Leonardo had been asked first. Okay. Well, is he so? Is he a shopkeeper? I guess. <laughs> I don't know if I was gonna. Oh, hang on. Um. I didn't want to look at my map. I wanted to go to my database. Database. Uh, recent entries, and we can go back and see. Thieves, Greek fire, Constantinople. Because I was about to say we kind of missed out on a lot of the previous entries so we can at least look at these and be like, like that's not that this is from a previous entry oh but it says many thieves in the Ottoman Empire were members of organized guilds uh, most of which were well known to the police on account of their frequent bribes and tributes that were going to the you know the police ball I was that uh, like I'd like to buy some tickets to the police ball police don't have balls what police don't have balls They'll love it when you say that. The thieves paid to keep the authorities off their backs. Well, as you do. These were also mindful of target foreigners as, oh, dicks. Not to upset the locals, but really just, damn foreigners taking our country away from us. Which proved quite easy in constant, cosmopolitan, constant, that's a good one. Cosmopolitan, constant, no, that's what we're going to call it. Cosmetob cosmopolitan Constantinopolopolis. It must be noted that the line between crook and cop was very porous in those days, as many of the police chose police chosen to keep watch on the thieves and were themselves former members of the Larcinius class, I guess. Larceny, you know, like bad. Greek fire. It burns. Hey, it's from for centuries the Byzantine Empire used Greek fire during naval battles. Okay. Um it looks like it saved them a couple times. Um, Sindri weapons were used in warfare for centuries before the invention of Greek fire, but what set the Byzantine Greek fire apart was its unique formula, which would be, which would continue burning even underwater. Wow. So it's like napalm or something, and the use of pressured siphons to project the liquid onto enemy ships. Some considered Greek fire the predecessor of modern napalm. Okay. Uh... 
okay, yeah, they're guarded military secrets. I mean, you wouldn't want people knowing about this. Um, oh, okay, this is like they... People could only know, like, one component, so they would, like, meet up. So, I made the, uh, substance. You know what to do with the substance? Yeah, I know. Good, because I don't want to know. You know? People tend to not live long when they know. Oh, wow. Huh. So it says, like, some people captured it, and they, like, they couldn't even do anything with it. Constantinople. Is that all it is? On the first hill. Oh, that sounds like something from Rome. Ah, is walled city by Doric Greeks. Its founder was Byzas, a soldier rumored to have the son of Poseidon, the nymph of Carosius, a devout man. Byzas had chosen the site of a new city based on a promising prophecy of the Oracle Delphi. She told him to go there, and I guess he built it there. From its earliest days, Byzantine was in an isolated colony, a so called island of Hellen Hellenic civilization. That's just, um,. Greek, right? Is see by barbarian tribes. Although its popular reputation as a raucous port town full of drunk merchants and sots typically outshine its credentials as a local lo locus of culture. As the playwright Menander wrote in his now lost play, The Flute Girl, Byzantium makes all of her merchants drunkards. The whole night though we were drinking, and methinks twas very strong wine too. At any rate, I woke up <laughs> With a head of for four. Oh, okay. His head was so heavy, it was like as if it, it should. Later centuries, the Greek civilization dwindled and receded. Byzantium's um, inhabitants diversified, and its rulers came and went in a rotating lineup of hopeful shepherds. Spartans, Macedonians, Athenians, and Romans all took their turns in lording over the city on the first hill. Then, some certain day, a Roman Constantine, inspired by a vision of from God, he claimed moving the capital of the Roman Empire to Byzantium. That's right, because the Eastern Roman Empire, that's where he set it up, moved the capital of Roman into the blah, blah, blah. Really a strict specificator. Excuse me. At a grandeur in a pinnac befitting a Roman emperor. When it was all done building it, Nova Roma Constantinople, yeah. <laughs> New Rome, city of Constantine. Native born silly drugs continued to call the city Byzantium for many generations, but rarely its colloquial name, Constantinopolis, caught on, as did New Rome, since the men who ruled the city thought of themselves as Roman, living in the Eastern Roman Empire. The moniker Byzantine Empire is more common to return. The game, popular sometime after the Ottomans' conquest of the city. Well, spoiler. <laughs> um, I think the story might involve that somehow. For over 800 years, Constantinople served as the capital of... Well, no, it's like 1400s. I mean, that happened a long time ago. So the Ottomans. For over 800 years, Constantinople served as the capital of the transformed Roman Empire, keeping alive a commonwealth that had all but withered in the West under the weight of the barbaric attacks and economic hardships. Throughout the Middle Ages, Constantinople burned brightly compared to the... Oh, I thought they were going to go for something like, It burned in the night! <laughs> No, it burned brightly compared to the darkness that engulfed the rest of Europe. You know, you don't have to try hard. You don't shit yourself, and you pretty much got it done. Though it too suffered its share of turmoil and uh, was captured. Okay, it was captured shortly by Pope Innocent. Yeah, <laughs> bless the Vatican's fourth and final crusade. Christ oh, okay, fourth crusade. All right, but okay. So when they took over some Venetians and. Genocene's merchants <laughs> took up residence in the south and north side of the Golden Horn, respectively. Wasn't that on both sides? Jesus, how many... <laughs> in 1261, Michael Pelagius, Greek heir to the Byzantine throne, marched on Constantinople and won a decisive victory. Well, you know how those people go. But the city he had recaptured was faltering, and the empires he now controlled possessed a mere f fraction of its former land and influence. This began the 200-year decline of a once-great city, and though Constantinople continued to flourish as a cultural center, thanks in large part to healthy system and arts, patronage from wealthy citizens, the city population rapidly dwindled. Jeez, can I just like... Okay, we've got two paragraphs to go. Let's see, let's see if I can... Um... Alright, this seems like to be about the downfall. 
Oh no, the Ottoman Empire was expanding. Um, uh, plead with the wizards of Rome. Okay, they wanted help, but no one came. Oh, half hour part of gestures. Invasion of so many Byzantines had feared. 14, that might be in the time period of Assassin's Creed, this per current game. Mehmet, Mehmet the Conqueror, as he was later known. Okay, I guess he, um, finally, the Ottoman Turks ruled the city. Yeah, I think it's currently in part of Turkey. And they made the first party restore the city to its former glory. Hey, well, good guys. With the sultans adopting a tolerant passion with respect to religion. Well, that's cool. The city became more attractive to all kinds of creeds. Ha 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 ha. Cappadocia. Oh. Rocky region in Anatolia. Uh, I'm done reading. Tell you what, we'll... I want to play the game. 